I wonder if it's like a real Roomba where you have to, it gets, you find it somewhere in your house and then you have to bring it back to the charger and you're pissed at the end of, oh no, I can use doors. So let's see if it gets stuck on any of the obstacles, you know, and, like a real Roomba, like a real Roomba. Oh, what a wonderful mod idea. If I had one mod, it would be this. This is such a great idea. Hello friends and welcome back to another smashing gaming video. Today in RimWorld, we are upholding the social norm. And by that I mean we're actually going to try to complete the Royal Quest. Royal Ascent is the entire purpose of the new Royalty DLC, so I figured why not try to complete the final quest. So Royal Ascent, you have learned of a way to escape this planet. The High Stellarch of the Shattered Empire will perform a customary visit with any count of his domain upon request. Invite him, satisfy his royal needs for 12 days, and all of you can ride the shuttle to Imperial Flotilla. You may then join the Imperial Court or escape to a new life among the stars. Earning the title of Count means completing quests to earn royal favor with the Shattered Empire. It may take years to finally achieve the title of Count. We've got this already. During his visit, you must keep his mood above 25%. This means providing royal prerequisites like a lavish bedroom. Others will take the opportunity to try and kill the High Stellarch and will attack with great intensity be prepared to defend. And he's going to bring four of his guards and you can't send them away. <laughs> you can't you can't just send them off. So we've got a, a big important count who's gonna come visit. Um, I too am a count, so one of my equal. So pretty much what this means is that we need to basically play The Sims and take care of some guy's really lavish needs for 12 days. And if we keep him happy, you know, barring anything that might happen, then we're gonna get an invitation to leave the planet. But if we wanna get to that point, first off we need to make sure that we've satisfied Tynan. Currently, it's just the count specific apparel and an undignified throne room we need to resolve, which I'm actually doing right now. We're trying to get fine tile everywhere. Drapes and braziers. I, I, I've been told it's pronounced braziers. I think it's braziers. So I'm going with that. We can just destroy his old throne in favor of another. And things may look a little bit different today. Some of the textures have been retextured. Uh, I actually installed even more mods. I mean, I'm experimenting with the vanilla expanded mod set along with a couple others, but I'll update it below. Really, I'm just experimenting to see what I like, but it doesn't change too much. It just adds cool shit. It also adds a lot to combat, but uh, I'll explain it as we go. Most of it's pretty unimportant and it's just quality of life. And Tynan is throwing a party. Yeah, we have royal apparel now. We don't actually need a lot of these later technologies if we're gonna go this route. So I can go with things that I want, like gas operation for turrets. Now, Tynan's life has kind of devolved since he became a royal. The only things that are really productive he does are, well, not really anything. He basically hunts for his next meal uh, and does research. So I already have a much better researcher I like. So I think we'll just send him off to hunting. I mean, he does have psychic powers, so he could always stop anything if it starts to charge at him. But I'll go with that. And yeah, no one else hunts. No one else hunts. Hunt everything. Just hunt it all. Hunt it all. Except that. Except that. I kind of like it. He's going on a royal hunt. He looks like a 30s gangster with that hat on and with that uh, chain shotgun. Actually, I, I've taken a liking to the chain shotgun. I'm alright with him using this in uh, hunting because they do a terrible job auto hunting with other weapons. So Yeah, and it does that kind of damage, so I'd say that's fine. He's also become a great shot, so hey, it's worth it for him to do this. At least it gets him hauling, you know? Because he considers this hunting. But that's pretty much like an entire day. Everyone's sitting here working to make his throne room and he's like, hey guys, I brought back a horse for, for you to cook and then feed to me. I'm gonna reload my chain shotgun in the kitchen and then sit on my throne. Ah, royalty. Ah, now we went for a turtle. Good for him, good for him. I like the uh, vanilla textures improved, but I must not have done it right because I'm getting only some of my textures. Oh, well, next playthrough I'll go through with like a full, full reset of my mods. Probably just gonna go straight up vanilla expanded. I'm really liking these a lot. And we can get to work on royal robes. <laughs> this stuff is kind of cool. Next, we're going to make a crown. Well, actually not a crown yet. That would be for emperor, but a coronet. Coronet? Coronet, whatever. Make it from silver. Yeah, we, uh, we kind of ran out of gold since we used it all in the count title. So, yeah. It's just become my favorite thing each day to watch him take out whatever his meal is going to be. <laughs> no, go with that lynx. Wow, the retexture of the lynx really looks nice. I'm just gonna keep on ogling things that I like. It's always fun to play with new mods. It's like a new game every time you try it. And when you try to reload your game, it's a whole new set of problems. <laughs> Actually, it's been pretty stable on me. I used to get that problem a lot more often with RimWorld, but not anymore for some reason. And we got blowback operation. Now let's get gas operation. Now before Tynan went on a mental break and he issued a new royal decree for no reason. Tynan, your count is issued. We need to harvest 498 potatoes within 20 days or his anger will continue to increase. 
So, potatoes it is. Potatoes it is. We'll just make a whole new field for this shit. I have a feeling he's not gonna be particularly happy. Right, uh, here and here. Do potatoes and, uh, you know what, screw cotton, we're, uh, change it to potatoes. We've got, uh, 26, your highness. Meanwhile, he's off on the hunt, eating not potatoes. Love that if I could just start. You know, taking out my aggression, forcing people to plant things. It's a good life. And we're getting muscle p ah, I needed Alcatraz, he's a good nurse. Darn. Beat the shit out of UPS. No insulting sprees here. Hit him with your revolver. Snap this man. Jesus, he's really not giving up. Come on, take him- there we go. Good. Now rescue this man. Days. We're getting FedEx back to work. He's actually gonna do a lot of hauling right here. Ooh, this is nice. I love these hauling mods. Yes, good baby. Do it. Okay, FedEx, deliver us. <laughs> deliver us from peril. <laughs> oh, this is bad. How did this thing get in here? I think it just wandered in. All right, it comes in peace. It comes in peace. But now it's gonna be impossible to get it to leave. I also turned on the faction discovery mod, so now we've got some insectoids here. I don't know if we'll ever get to meet them, but they are there. And soon they might be here. We finished gas operation, I think we'll actually get some gun turrets going now. Be kinda cool to get these things here. And we wouldn't have to worry about combat so much. Just think about ourselves. I take back everything I ever thought about modding. It gets rid of a lot of the frustration, these quality of life mods. Pawns actually do things that you would just need to to micromanage them to do. It like messes with their programming. Just watching FedEx haul things right now. He hauls multiple things. He's actually using his inventory space. I like it a lot. I'm converted, you've got me. Well, who needs drugs when you could just make them out of thin air? Or maybe they'll just fall right out of the sky. We have a royal robe. I'm not even sure if we need the royal robe yet, but we have it. Fanhex has turned into some sort of hauling machine. He's just offloading resources and unloading them willy-nilly. Very nice. Very nice. Ooh. Ooh, that's hundreds of uh, things. I find it satisfying. Wow. Boom rats just eat smoke leaf leaves. <laughs> now it's time to kill it. Come on, Tynan. Oh, it's entering the throne room. They just keep wandering in here. Okay, go where you must. Stun. Shoot. Good. Like this, we take over the world. Good. Good, that's what I needed from you. Actually, I think we, for the first time in a while, we have a surplus of food. 1,261 corn. The corn harvest was a success. We could even expand the fridge, but uh, I've, I've wanted this for a while. Now we can focus on construction and mining. Or even, you know what, let's just, it's gonna be a while till I'm really good at this, but I'm going to build some granite food baskets and see if this helps. We got gun turrets, now heavy turrets. We got good meat. Ooh, perfect. He's going away for his own assassination. We have the meats. Oh, shit, shit. Uh, no. Okay, right there. Okay, we have the meats. Good. Undraft, you're free. But those things were giving me the creeps. Okay, here we go. Granite food basket. I hope this can store a lot. We build fridges and baskets. And we'll have them use these baskets for the meats. Actually, uh, just human meat. There just happens to be a lot of it in here. Okay, the weather is getting really cold. I think it's time to work on that climate adjuster. Because, uh, the potatoes have stopped growing. It's out of range of the toxic spewer, and that's good. So let's send out Tynan and FedEx in a caravan. We'll send them there, and then right back. It's, it's getting really, really cold. And I want back permanent summer. Goodbye, goodbye. Happy trails, happy trails. Everyone else has food poisoning here and is just slow as shit. We don't even have the marrow- I mean, smoke leaf. We don't even have the smoke leaf to keep them happy. Jesus, that's a long walk. Okay, and they're off. And they're off to the great beyond. They should get to the location by the end of the day. Oh shit, what happened to FedEx? Food poison- Oh god, should have seen that coming. We got mad Ibexes. How many? Ah, uh, just two. Just two. They'll probably die to the traps anyway. And ironically, the, uh, the temperature's actually stabilized. So we, we won't have, like, potato rage or something. Thing. It won't be as I feared. Ah, there they go. Yes, they did get trapped. One and two and a third. Good. In my plasteel traps. <laughs> good, good. I'm also gonna plant some psychoid because I've I've just never worked with psychoid and I want to. It takes a little bit more skill, a little bit more addictive, but uh, I can have a positive mood boost and just generally I think it, it doesn't slow them down quite as much. So for this reason, it is desirable. We could also use a multi-analyzer here. I want to start fabricating things, and it looks like FedEx is up from his food poisoning. Wowie, wowie. We all come around. We all come around. All right, let's see how they do with this climate adjuster. I'm a little concerned here. 
could be danger. And ready, set, go. They're almost good. Okay, there are scary infected man-hunting animals in the area. Okay, so a disease which causes affected creatures to enter berserk rages. A creature with scaria cannot, can be cured through special medical operation, but it must- Okay, a bunch of rabid chickens. <laughs> We're literally fighting an army of rabid chickens. Okay, uh, well, this is like something that could go on shit, RimWorld says. Okay, uh, let's just approach with caution. They're, uh, okay, they're charging at us. Okay, this is a good time to use run and gun. So uh, just send them out and, uh, kite the chickens. I think we're faster than them, and we should be able to survive this, but I believe all of them are maddened. Okay, could just take out all of them that you see, and we can just slowly kite them as we go. Uh, let's, uh, avoid friendly fire. We'll just go like that. Wow, this is gonna be... <laughs> Oh, this is like taking candy from a baby. No, very easy, very easy. Okay, I thoroughly enjoyed that. Good, we've, uh... Man, nothing is ever this easy in this game. Great. I would have done this long ago if I knew it was only man-hunting chickens. I also, I'm not a, I don't really like going on journeys. I, I'm kind of a homebody. All right, let's just shoot the shit out of this thing from the evil chicken. Reload. I gotta say, these gun- these combat mods are really, really fun. I like them, a, like, a lot. Like, combat felt so stiff until I did this. I'm adding more. Okay, I've added more stuff. Uh, I'll, I'll just list it at the bottom in the end. I'm gonna have a really hard time keep of track. I'm gonna have a hard time keeping track of everything I've added, but it is really nice. Now, a new problem is that wild animals keep making their way into my base. And some of you guys had actually told me to rebuild my embrasures with uh, walls between. That does make sense. You know, they can hide behind the wall and then look out the embrasure. We've destroyed the climate adjuster. I think this area is pretty much done. I like it. You know, it's just mostly sand and rabid chickens. And as much as I like those things, I'm going to leave. We'll take back everything and go home. Great. Okay, and we're off to see the wizard. Ah, that would be a, that would be a funny playthrough. <laughs> the wizard. The Wizard of Oz? Yeah, it just gets memeier and memeier on this channel. Somehow I knew it would just turn into shit posting. But to be honest, I kind of like it, you know? Like, if I had to ask myself where my channel would have been years later, when I had first started, I think this is like the ideal situation. That's what I wanted. A lot of people- a lot of people have the opposite problem, where they're doing something they don't like. I, fortunately, I really love what my channel's gotten known for. No, oh, please, no, don't butcher me. No, no, I'm a doe. Goodbye, Ibex doe. You're off to see the wizard. Oh shit, we're getting ambushed by pirate- the merchant gang. Oh no. Oh, it's only one guy with an axe. All right, this will actually be kind of fun. I like it. Uh, switch him off of run and gun for now. We'll just uh, have him run. I believe if you switch him on to run and gun, they'd run slower? Yeah, maybe that's wrong, but this should be a pretty easy battle. Just one guy with an axe. All right, shoot him in the face. Stun him in the face. Is he worth capturing? Uh, no, he's a slowboke and he's- a To hell with him- No, don't sleep right there. Finish this man. Good, okay. Uh, on the road again. And they're coming back. Kind of exciting, you know? An ambush. It's like the Wild West. And we have better temperatures now, 63 degrees Fahrenheit. Caravan Battle 1, and we've arrived back here. Now, last time we came back, Tynan uh, went mad and issued a potato decree. So, fortunately, that's not happening, as he seems to be in very good uh, health. He, he got a rush from the uh, bloodlust. And that's kind of offsetting all of the, tor the horrible things right here. He's also getting the pleasure from cooked cannibalism, since we've started um, making sure that only he eats the lavish meals, and we put human meat in them. So, it's effed up, but uh, that's, that's this game. So, I'm alright with that. Okay, and we're gonna get the turret done. Just about ready here. Get some power hooked up to that. Uh, this is fine. I know we're supposed to go through walls, but there's not really any in a convenient place. And we've got one auto turret here, though I know of no way to have it just shoot animals. I'd like it to happen, but there's probably a mod for it that I just don't know about. And we're just about there with our wall defenses. We fixed up almost everything. The potatoes are healthy and growing. And I'm saying, let's just plant corn. Like, we don't have any need for short-term crops anymore. So let's just go corn. Corn it is. Another royal tribute collector. At this point in time, I don't really need to do any more. Um, I mean, they look cool. He's got on, like, a gas mask or something. But, uh, yeah. Uh, stay away. I don't need you. In fact, I'm wondering if there's any event I could trigger that I've been avoiding for a while. I think that's it. We'll just, uh, we'll just let them pass. Damn, their gear looks really cool. <laughs> if powdered wigs... Powdered wigs. I also think we're just about ready to take advantage of this uh, steam geyser for geothermal power. We can now get heavy auto turrets, or at least many other turrets. Yeah, this is what it looks like at night, just for uh, for example. And it's 99%. We're ready. Okay, we get geothermal power right there. Let's do a granite wall around it. 
like that and that. Throw in a door. Ooh, fight, fight. F oh, it ended. And there's vomit everywhere. Jesus. Come on, guys, keep it together. Tantrum on mailman. Ooh, he's not too happy. Okay, you can do that. He's got to babysit him, make sure they don't destroy anything good. I think he's fine. He's not hitting it. Yep, he's done. All right. Ah, we harvested all the potatoes needed. Ah, we didn't even need that many potato fields, but still. <laughs> Thank God we won't get angry. Uh, yeah, let's replace that with corn. We need something more low maintenance now. We'll just harvest all these and plant, uh, it's gotta be corn. Gotta be corn. Something nice and low upkeep. Relax on the fields for a while. And we get the geothermal generator done. That should, uh, pretty much give us sustainable power forever now. We don't have to depend on, like, the elements with these things. We should fully charge our batteries too. Okay, now this is now this is a mature base now that we have that. We got a tantrum on Dwayne. He won't hit expensive things though and his food poisoning will actually slow him down. Just for that, you get your own bedroom. Keep you happy. We'll also build a couple more drapes in the in the throne room and clean the vomit off the floor and actually build a floor. We we'll also need columns. We'll just put them around. We could reinstall these. God, this has been killing me. This place looks so good and then it looked so bad for a while. Oh, yep, the power the power is good now. No need to worry about that anymore. We could also build the grand meditation throne here and face the other one toward it. I don't know why. I just think it looks funny. Have two people facing each other directly. Whatever, that's fine. Maybe we'll have more royals later. I can't imagine an entire colony of royals. They, would, they wouldn't get anything done. Yeah, this is lowering research speed. Let's just uh, wall this back off. Ooh, a psychic soothe on it. Ah, I needed this. I deserve this. It's been far too long. Look at what a mess this place is. And the royal throne is finished. Good. That is really nice. All right, only one person to give it to. And all we need are the fine floors now. And that'll bring up the impressiveness. We can have him wear the crown or coronet. I think it's just the throne room now. Then he'll be, uh... Oh, he's been trapped underground? Oh, all of this indoor life and no hunting has f caused him to just stay inside. Let's get him outside. Go for a walk. There we go. That's an easy one to get rid of. Yeah, he, we need to force him outside more. All right, time for the hunt. Ooh, and he wants a cloth war veil as well. How very kingly. Or county. Countly. Hey, and he made it back. We got forced into the trap. He's unhappy with that. Cowering. Let me just reload my chain shotgun and play the piano. Fear me. He hasn't even killed the boar. <laughs> he had another one run at him and he went, ah! And then he ran away. We're building a weapons locker too. I think this is what I should have done in the first place. It certainly looks good. And we also got tall wooden shelves now for chunks. I think we'll just let all chunks go in here. We'll see how they do with hauling these things. I've not, uh, I've not tried one of these things out, but I can imagine it's only good. Good, we've got the chunks going in and we've got the, uh, the bricks coming out. Got a party. Throwing a party. Have good moods for a while. Nothing, nothing says a party like doing research at a desk alone. Come to the dirt party. I should probably fix this up. I'm definitely looking forward to the mod that adds Roombas to the game. I'm sick of cleaning shit. And no, I, I disagree with adding doormats. Doormats aren't my style. Doormats aren't my style. I don't know why, I don't know why I do these things. We're learning very quickly. I also installed the Mad Skills mod because I'm just sick of skill deterioration. It's one of my least favorite parts of the game and I like things being permanent when I learn them, so judge me. Makes it more fun for me. Um, we have a quest. Threat cluster. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. I don't like the look of that. No, thank you. I like how royalty lets you decide on what evil shit you take on, though. I will say that, like, there are bad things that happen, but for the most part, like, I mean, if I'd been playing on losing is fun, it'd be even worse, but it, it offers you choice in- It's not just like people randomly raid you for no reason, so that is much, uh, much desired. I think let's add a couple more food baskets as well, those are pretty good for us. One thing I like about the LWM deep storage is that you, you need to work to get the storage going, it's not just like basic stacks that you could just do. Like, there is an input cost to it, which is kind of nice. You know, you feel like you have to work to get there, so. I applaud him on that. That is a really nice decision. And we'll put baskets out for the rest. We got fabrication, advanced fabrication. Time for a fabrication bench. I'm also gonna add in some hampers over here. I have a passion for storage. Clothing rack here. It's like a trip to Bed Bath & Beyond. Oh, loving it. I'm also installing this auto cleaner mod. I've really been looking forward to trying this. You can make it out of fabrication bench using advanced components and it'll 
pretty much eliminate the need for a cleaner. And we have a lot of mods now. There's just so much in here. Jeez. But they're all playing nicely together, so I'm okay with that. I mean, the game is stabilized, and it's not like they all load out of order anymore. And once we get advanced fabrication, we'll be able to make advanced components and auto cleaners. It's a little ways more for Tynan. He's getting better by the day at research. We got a bulk goods trader. Yeah. See what he's got. We'll buy advanced components, because these things are pretty important and hard to manufacture. Honestly, I want to buy my marble blocks from this guy. I've just been spending so much time making marble blocks. I'd rather sell my uranium. Never thought I'd utter these sentences. I'll also grab back those yaks that I missed out on. Like a male and a female. There's a 22 year old yak. That's entertaining. And that'll probably do it for me. Oops, I almost bought sandstone instead. Perfect, that's fine. And, oh god, he dropped the yaks in the worst place possible again. Oh well, at least we got the marble. Free the yaks. Yak liberation. We'll send them to animals are smart. Be gone, yaks. Oh, we're halfway there with the throne room. It still looks like shit, but all in good time, all in good time. That marble trade was a good, a boon for us. A boon, a boon. We could also put out a hay laugh for the yaks. That was the worst Boston accent I've ever had. Hay laughed. <laughs> that wasn't even Boston anymore. I used to live in Boston. Okay. Um... <laughs> Hayloft coming up right here. We'll make this into a barn somehow. And there we go. That's sort of a barn. Good. That's all the food that you get to eat, though. Good. They're storing things away. It actually takes them a little while to store things in. Yeah, that's a little bit less efficient, but it also means that, you know, they don't have to walk miles to find items. So it's kind of like a fair trade-off. And I, I find this pretty fair. It, it just looks better to me, too. Like, visually. Okay, yaks. We gotta make some decisions. But all I need is their milk. And how is the throne room looking now? We'll need a little bit more, but... Uh, this is gonna be a very nice throne room once it gets to 160. Let's just plant some plants in here. Always the best answer. That or we'll just make the chairs till they're excellent. Here's what I'm saying. Gold chair. Gold chair for the piano. Plant. Plant. Where, where, where would I go if I were a plant? Here, a plant. Oh god, what next? And from 142 up to... Let's see how he does on this chair. He got 147, okay. It's getting dirty, but let's clean it. Visitors from West Vimia. No. Oh, that's fun. They got on, like, some items. Yeah, this is really royal now. Mm, we need to go to art next. If we really want to make this room impressive, we need sculptures. I can't believe we've gotten this far without art at all. Usually I have tons of art by this time. And we just need the room's impressiveness to jump 10 points. And then our throne room will be perfect. We can debuild the steel chairs and make them out of silver. It must be the best. And how is our impressiveness? 6.0. Clean the room. Clean the room up. Let's see if we can get it dignified. This place is getting extremely impressive. Oops, ooh, we do not want to deconstruct those. We'll try rebuilding the tables out of gold. What did we do, limestone before? Okay, that's, that's gonna be much better. Everything needs to be made from precious metals, it seems like. And we got excellent quality, and we're almost there. We got excellent quality again. Jesus, it's very good. I don't think I want this. Nope, not lending you a colonist. I don't care. And we have a dignified throne room. Yay. Now we can do royal ascent. We need to, uh, we need a free bread room. So we need to make another count's bedroom. So that's going to be our next task. And I think I'm just going to force everyone into a barracks. We'll take out this wall and then we'll make this into the other count's bedroom. Because we're going to have a count living us with us for a few days. Now we need to prepare it and make it really nice for him. And that's why I'm getting Roombas beforehand, because it's going to get very dirty. Because we have a lot of people. We've also cleaned up our storage, and it, it looks a bit empty right now, but honestly, we just have a lot of resources to go through. It's almost, it's almost too empty. Like, these mods are really, really efficient. And, I mean, in that way, I do like them a lot. Our yaks aren't hungry anymore, and they're milking well. Tynan has tattered apparel on his Eltex vest, but, uh, too bad? Uh, a little bit, I have to say. I, I can't really do much with that. He needs to keep wearing it, otherwise we don't satisfy the duke requirements. Here we go. We're ready to get another count's room ready. Fine marble tiles everywhere. Again, I don't think we need it here or here though. Okay, let's begin the replacing. We'll bring back out the marble carving. And we got advanced fabrication too. We're, we're really close to a starship is the funny part. I'll go for recon armor right here though. That's a uh, villain expanded one. We'll, auto, we'll order the creation of an auto cleaner next. We need crafting 12. So we're kind of stuck there. And Tamantha is the closest at seven. Jeez. Yeah, we aren't getting that anytime soon. That's too bad. That's the whole reason I did that. We'll just take out all the old beds, reinstall them in here in this overcrowded room. Get ready another golden royal bed for here. 
Put a drape in front of it and also. I think that's everything that you need for the room. Surprisingly, yeah, I thought it was more. Humalope self-tamed. All right, uh, whatever. Whatever. And screw it, we'll just use slate for part of the room. I think it's fine. This is an enormous bedroom. Some of these structures we don't even need anymore because of our new storage. Now, I just realized that Tamantha hasn't been gaining any experience for all this stone block cutting. Which is something that, quite frankly, I don't know the mod for it, but I think it should be in the game. So I'm gonna cheat her some levels that she deserves. Because I really want a robo-cleaner. And if it makes it more fun, I'm down for it. If you know the mod, tell me. Because, uh, right now you don't get crafting skill for smoke leaf joints or stone blocks. And I think that's injustice. And I really want a Roomba. I really want a Roomba. Like, this is one of the... This is one of the main things I've always wanted in this game. Sugar, spice, and everything nice. Good. Make that Roomba. It's gonna be a lot of work, but get her done, get her done. Do I feel bad? I don't feel bad. I don't feel bad. I feel good, actually. I feel very good. Alright, back to normal. And let's build the rest of the floor out of limestone, because we're kind of running out of materials here. Oh, yes. This is practically gonna be like getting another colonist. I'm so excited. More than any other mod is this fun. And we get a- ooh, medium psychic drone on males. Fortunately, we have a lot of smoke leaf. Yeah, we have 24 joints. We'll be okay. We will survive. We will survive. And good. The uh, auto cleaner is done. Okay, where is this thing? All right, uh, let's activate it. And ooh, 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 it's charging. It's just like a real Roomba. Oh, yes, yes, it's gonna- Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so happy. I've always wanted this. Yes, it slowly runs out of charge too. That's also kind of nice. I wonder if it's like a real Roomba where you have to, it gets, you find it somewhere in your house and you have to bring it back to the charger and you're pissed at the end of, oh no, I can use doors. So let's see if it gets stuck on any of the obstacles, you know, like a real Roomba. Like a real Roomba. Oh, what a wonderful mod idea. If I had one mod, it would be this. This is such a great idea. It might skip door- Is it skipping doorways? It might be skipping doorways, I think. But, uh, yeah, still, uh, no, actually, there it got one. Okay. All right, I like this. I like this. It charges manually <laughs> next to, like, a power outlet. Oh, it just stays on the grid. Okay, fair, but it works all night to make you happy. I love it. It's so nice. What a wonderful idea. I'm, I wonder if we need another one, though. Can it clean fast enough? Wow, that is fun. And we got a tantrum on Dwayne. Just don't destroy the Roomba, man. Ooh. All right. I needed that. That was expensive, but if it makes you happy, if it makes you happy. Look, it's it's cleaning the blood and the vomit outside, too. I love this machine. You complete me. There it goes. There it goes. I bought one last year in real life, and then it broke. So, this is like my little fantasy of a Roomba. Oh, it makes me so glad you don't even know. Yes, clean the blood off of the kill area. Good. Let's not live like savages. Imagine building a whole army of them. Good, it's getting the kitchen. <laughs> it's getting the kitchen. Man, I, I can't imagine what's in this thing when you empty it out. Blood, garbage, rubble, vomit, dirt, rubble. It's a good thing you don't have to empty it out. That would just be a, a lot of maintenance. And it always makes it back to charge in time. Yes, get the throne room. Ah, uh, an excuse to be a slob. Okay, I think we're ready for that uh, final quest. Just about, we just need to finish off this one bedroom and we could use sandstone for the rest. The tiled floors are an absolute disaster. These things take forever. Sandstone tile, just keep on switching it out. Call it a multicolored, uh, Array. And it's even getting outside too and getting the hard to reach areas. Look, there it goes as a little dot on the main map. <laughs> I like it. Look at it. It's so merry and jolly. And it never breaks like my colonists. Age one day. It has a it has a birthday. It has a social lock. Oh well, okay. Enough enough of that. And we'll just finish off this bedroom now. And it looks weird, but it's it's tiled. Now. I don't know why we did two lights, but okay. Oh, it was two rooms before. Okay, let's accept the Royal Ascent quest. We're ready. Accept with Tynan, and the High Stellark has arrived. Oh, right in front of it. Ooh, he looks important. Okay, who is he? So he's, uh, what is he? He's a, he's incapable of everything. Common or work. What can he do? He can only be a war- he can only tend to, uh, prisoners. Rest in bed and be a patient. Holy shit, the only thing that he can do is warden? Jesus. I'm glad we didn't go any further down this path. Uh, we'll leave the other ones to their default tasks. They all look very individual and unique. And we'll just let them have at it with our colony. Our colony's pretty well prepared now. I think we just need some beds for them. Uh, and we'll make this one bedroom really nice. Despite the fact that they all are sleeping literally on top of each other. Okay, and, uh, so right now, we're basically playing The Sims. He has royal expectations, so anything being wrong is not okay. Um, 
We need the entire place to be so- He has no personal, but he does have a personal bedroom. We need to assign this to him. Okay, this is Metanik. Are you pleased, my lord? Are you pleased? Now he has no negative mood list right now. So we just need to make it his life really nice. Um, he might walk somewhere where he's not happy completely. He has a bio-coded Zeus hammer. Uh, it's kind of cool to see this, though. Like a character like this at all. Now, they're gonna raid us, too, so we need to make sure that he doesn't get hurt in the raids, ever. And he can't fall below 25%, so... We need to give him a lot of drugs if he gets if he gets even slightly pissed. Um, in 12 days, the shuttle will arrive, so this is 12 days of just fending off raids and keeping him happy. So, let's set up a drug policy for him. He's going to have his own. We'll call it, uh, Extreme Happiness. Uh, okay. And he can have everything. No, we'll give him smoke leaf joints, uh, if his mood is below. If it's even below, like, 60%, I want him to have smoke leaf and take some into his inventory. I, I think that's all that we have, though, so we'll just give him a lot of smoke leaf. We have Psychite 2 growing, but I don't think it's gonna be ready in time. Okay, Metanik, just, uh, go get some, uh, how is his mood? 53%, he should be getting smoke leaf right now. Okay, I'm just gonna have him smoke one of these. <laughs> He's just gonna be smoking for days. Don't get unhappy. Don't get unhappy. There you go. Smile. <laughs> uh, you know, let's pick up two. There we go. Good. He's got two in his inventory. He's getting happier. Good. He's high. He's loving it. It's a beautiful environment, and we're gonna need more drugs. <laughs> He is very comfortable, though. And we got normal quality on his bed. Normal on mine, that's fine. My Roomba, good, my Roomba, go, go, my Roomba. Clean more. UPS, stop smoking and get playing. And good, okay, the other guy is coming in to smoke. He's in a pretty good mood. Gorgeous environment, high on smoke leaf, recreation, fully satisfied. I think he's going to like it here for a few days with Tynan. We're gonna need more, more, more. He's playing the piano. Okay, raid, crazy hive. They're tunneling towards us. They'll break through in a few seconds and attack. Ah, uh, shit. Ah, uh, they're gonna come up out of a tunnel. Okay, everyone to arms. Everyone is drafted. Come into the main room somewhere. Uh, no, a battle room. Battle room. Go over there. Go somewhere safe. And we're getting some lag, actually. Hmm. Oh no, his mood. His mood is slightly dropping. Okay, uh, go back and eat a meal. They will all just follow you around and defend you. Good. Okay, everyone go with him. Go with him. Oh, wait, it's just, uh, they're coming. Okay. Okay, so we've got a bunch of megapedes coming. This is terrifying and horrible, but at least, uh, uh, at least I'm safe inside my mind. Oh, this is totally not the side that I had planned for them to come on. Uh, fuck, where are they gonna- They'll probably come through over here. So let's just get this spot ready. We're gonna be attacked from this other side. Okay, everyone back to work, back to work. Uh, okay, it'll all be okay. Go to bed. Go to bed. Just, just some giga locusts. That's all we're dealing with. Okay, here they come. Uh, we'll create a new kill box over here. Okay, get some turrets ready and some embrasures. Mine out this. Repair a wall. Actually, wrong spot. Right here. Oh shit, they actually came around the other way. Never mind. Well, thank God for that. Okay, they're coming in right now. Oh shit, we need meals for him too. I forgot that we don't have lavish meals for this guy. Okay, Alcatraz get cooking. Everyone else, two arms. Get drafted, get over here, and ooh, nice. Okay, we'll get everybody else over here. Get some melee, we'll get you some food soon, I promise. I forgot that I had only human meat. Okay, send up this guy with the plasma sword over here. And you too. You can stand there. You stand there. You stand there. And I think we're gonna survive this somehow. Uh, they look pretty well prepared. You stand there. Ah, uh, this is okay. Alright, you know what, they'll go on one guy. It's alright, you know, uh, this is pretty good defense. Alright, let's see how they do against the Giga Locusts and stuff. Uh, we're not all even in range yet. Let's get into range, good. Wow, they're doing really well against these things. Jesus, their weapons are so much fun. I like these new animations. Okay, back to making that guy happy. Good hit that thing to death. And we've still got a few megapedes left over. Right, coming in here. Let's see if we can deal with these. We got- these guys have much better weapons than ours. I think I'm just gonna use them. Stand here and here, right there, and you stand right there. See if you can defend that turret. And here they come through our kill box. <laughs> just passing- just passing over the boar. God, these things are terrifying. And let's see if we can take them out before they even get to us. These guys' weapons just do so much damage. It's crazy. That's bananas. Just take them down. Another one. Oh, yeah. Loving it. Okay, even before they can get to the melee guy. And good. Okay. I guess we'll just take them out. That's actually been a lot for one day. I think we're going to be getting sent a lot more raids. Um, and I've just been recording for like hours, so I'm going to give it a stop there. But yeah, for next time, we're going to be uh, defending the last of our defenses against uh, any potential threats. I guess we should have upgraded our weapons before we started, but... This is cool. I like it a lot. It's very different from every other playthrough I've done. And yeah, thanks for watching, as always. Thanks for watching, as always. My name's Ambiguous Amphibian. I hope you enjoyed, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.